to the channel and uh, build of our bat van. Today we're going to go ahead and put the faces on our drawers, get those set, and then uh, think about putting on our handles. Once uh, we get the faces on, then we can figure out where those handles are going to go. So uh, I did get everything edge banded, laminated, so now it's just a matter of putting them on. I think I'm going to have to go and get me some different fasteners. Uh, to go through this three quarter and then the half inch but uh, let's go ahead and rock and roll get these things on get some handles on I think I got the drawer uh, the doors ready for the outside so we can get those on and uh, make it look like something all right hang in there all right so we're going to take the drawer I put a couple of screws here kind of line it up front so I can put it on I'm going to put some glue on the face. I don't want it pulling out over time. Give it a nice little smear. Put it in and see uh, see how well it looks. All right, so let's see how well we did. Here we go. Looks good. So, let me uh, try to give you a better shot. I know the lighting in here is horrible. And so uh, I might close that door and turn on the overheads. And we'll just take a look at our handiwork. Hang on. All right, a little bit better. We got the back doors open here. And so there is our galley getting put together. And so we do have the two drawers here. I'm not gonna try to open them with one hand without no pools. And the three here. And they work nice. Beautimous. Here we go. All right, now we can do the doors on the outside with the hinges. And, uh, and then we have one more door to make. And I don't have the wood yet for that, or at least not cut. So we'll work on that here shortly, but let's get the back two doors on and uh, see what those look like. All right, so now to get started, I got a piece of tape on here. I marked it over a half inch because we have a half inch overlay over the openings. <coughs> and then we'll take our door, position that where it should be. with a half inch. Okay. And then we will take a pencil and mark our holes. Then we'll just pre-drill those and uh, get the door installed. So give me just a second. So we're going to put that right in the center here. Take our door. 
more, line up our hinges here. Make sure we're on our mark. Install our screw. handle on here and a couple of struts to hold that open I think that'll look nice yes that will look nice and we will do the same with the bottom Adjust this one slightly, and I think that's looking good. Yeah. All right. Let me make a few adjustments, and we'll take a look at it. All right. Now to finish out our cabinet doors here, I'm going to install struts on the doors and put our handles on, and our little locking uh, latches up here on the top. So on the bottom, I went ahead and installed the struts and the handle. I've got two struts on here each so when the doors open it acts like a little table right here and uh, I mean you're not going to set a hundred pounds on it, you're not going to sit on it it's just something I can place cups and things like that as I'm prepping. So anyway I've got one more to do here so let me show you how I did that. Yeah. All right, so where to, how to figure out where I put these is uh, I scribed the line. I put a piece of tape down and I scribed the line on the inside and it went up about three and an eighth to the center of this little bracket. Moved it in just a little bit so it clears this door when it closes. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to put some tape on this one, get everything marked. We can drill and put those little brackets on and uh, then we can get the struts installed. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So looking down inside, we're just going to take our pencil and mark that edge right there. Yep, and do the same to the other side. Alright. Alright, now that we've got our lines, we'll open this up. And tape measure. Mark it three and one eighth of an inch here. both sides take a square marker line sweet and sweet all right now to keep our door in place we'll take our handy dandy little bracket we're just going to put that underneath here I think and uh, we'll get that clamped on to the bottom. Should have had all this stuff set up first, huh? Let's see. All right. There we go. 
nice and square. I think we can do that on both sides to make sure it stays in place. And that's where we want it when it uh, stays open. Cool. All right, now we can take our little brackets, put those in position, mark it for our holes. We'll get those drilled and fastened on. So when uh, we're putting our brackets on, assuming this line represents the edge of the cabinet right here, what we don't want to do is put it right on the line because as it closes, it will hit the bracket. So we want to set that in place, move it over so we just eyeball it where we think it'll clear the cabinet. About like so and then we will uh, mark for the holes we'll get those drilled so I'm gonna go ahead and mark these drill them get them installed and then we'll uh, do the strut part where's my finger there it is do the strut part hang on Sweet. All right, now we can get those struts installed. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click it here, put the top on, set it in place, and uh, mark it where it should be, pull the strut up as far as it can go, and then uh, we can get the top brackets fastened and we can finish her out. All right, so I'm gonna take my little bracket, snap it in here, set it up here, and push it up as far as it'll go. And I made a mark, so we're going to go ahead and install that one. Okay, so that's where I want it. Good. Got a screw. Just, just loose. I'm going to put this back on, put it in place where I think I want it, and we'll mark for the other holes. All right. Let me go ahead and get that one on. One more hole to drill. Set this up here, pin it in place. Now these have a little play into it, so when I let the brackets loose at the bottom, the cabinet door is going to want to tilt. And then we'll just raise it up, loosen these screws, tighten them, and it should be nice and square again. Alright, so we've got one more side to do. Let me get that on, make a few adjustments, and then we'll put our handle on. Alright, so we've got the struts installed. Everything's clipped in place. Feels good. Take our brackets here off the bottom, and uh, you'll see that table just kind of drop a little bit. Hey, maybe not. Shoot. Nope. No adjustments necessary. That worked out great. Oy. Perfect. Perfect.
All right. Now we can install our handle. All right. I think that's looking okay. Got ourselves a couple little tables out here. Yep. All right. Now we can put our handles on the uh, drawers on the inside, and we can almost be done with that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, door pulls on our drawers. And uh, I'm just gonna find the center, drop down about three and a half inches drill the holes, go ahead and install those, and then I'll give you a shot when it's all done. And then we still have one door left to make, get that installed, and then we can start worrying about the countertop. So let me get these on, I'll give you a shot of the finished product, and uh, we'll move forward. Okay, here we go. Our handles are installed. I still have to buy the drawer glides for this one since I broke them, but it works great, and I think the handles look nice. Goes with the decor. Yep. Good deal. All right. Next is I have to get this door ready. We'll get it installed, put a handle on that, worry about some latches on this door and on the outside doors and then we can call that pretty much done. Then next will be the countertop. Looking forward to getting that, put it in place, get it marked to cut and uh, for the sink area I am going to use the CNC router to uh, cut that out and uh, since I've got it we're going to use it. All right. All right, so we got a little bit more progress done. We do have the uh, cabinet just about done. I didn't have enough wood for the uh, door here, but I'm going to get some wood and probably laminate it together and make the thickness and then get our Formica on there and get everything hinges and pulls and latches and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll be uh, showboating here before too long. All right, so that is going to wrap this video. want to Thank you for sticking it out this far. Following along the build of the bat van, when it is done, it is going to look totally awesome. Right now it looks uh, kind of sparse in here, but uh, once we get some other lights and bling up in here, it's going to spruce it up and make it sparkle. It'll be one of a kind, guarantee it. All right, well until next time, I hope that you uh, stay tuned.